All right, hey gang, Jack Lair here. And I just wanted to show you real quick, uh, Marvel Snap. I, a bunch of people have been playing it, but I decided that uh, I wanted to show it to you because the first instance of it, I poo-pooed it. I was like, no, I don't want to play that. It's a, another dumb collectible card game. But, 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 but. You can earn things even if you're losing. So win or lose, you're still making progress in the game and you can always play the game. So for instance, you'll see I've got no silver. So I come to the shop, uh, I can spend real money if I want. Uh, I can spend a boatload of gold. I can buy stuff here, I can upgrade and I'll get free stuff once a day and I can buy gold. I've got my collection here of all kinds of cards you want a Craven, Cable, all of the characters and the good thing is it also has uh, alternate skins. So for instance, we've got Hawkeye here and then we've also got Hawkeye. Uh, I've got, where's, where is she? All right, so I've got uh, Wolfsbane and then I've got Wolfsbane. So there are a bunch of different uh, style so this is the pixel variant and then you create uh different decks and the decks are only 12 cards so it's not terribly bad and you can like this is the deck that you start with so it's got hawkeye misty knight quicksilver medusa and each of these cards does different things and i just want to show you uh, real quick because i've been doing uh this is my random deck and basically what it is is that I have just been creating utter chaos, and it's a lot of fun. Um, before we get into the match, though, I do want to show missions. So here's kind of how it progresses. Uh, you get missions every once in a while, and then you complete the missions, and it gives you experience towards the weekly challenge, uh, as well as uh, the challenges down here give you a little bit more to go towards the overall season pass and you can get the premium i haven't done that yet just because i've been this is the first time that i've actually been having a lot of fun with the game so i'm just kind of swinging for the fences but you choose your deck we're going to make sure that we've got the random one selected and the way it works is that if you win or you lose you get uh, points on here to go up and down. So if you win, you get points to go up. If you lose, you get points to go down. During a match, you can snap. So what that is, is it's basically saying, I think I'm gonna win. You snap, they snap, you snap, they snap, and a whole bunch of points can change hands. Uh, and I don't know why it constantly does that. Oop, there we go, but this is the so let's go ahead and get a match. You'll see it. This will make a lot of sense once you see it. I see all. all right, so here are your three play fields or your three lanes. Each one's revealed one, two, and three. Uh, so I have the watcher so I can see what the other two are. I only have one power, so I can only play one power's worth of cards. So cards here are going to have minus three power. Ick. On turn six, cards can't be played here. Okay. So I can't play here because it won't let me. I don't want to play there because that's going to get revealed. So I'm going to go over here. Okay. So here we're in round two. And I don't like this at all even though I could just leave it alone and I would end up winning. But that seems like, that doesn't seem like very much fun. So we're gonna go ahead and use Scarlet Witch and she replaces the location with a random new one. So now this is gonna change. This is why I have this called random, just because it does all kinds of nonsense. So now instead of minus, minus one, it was plus one. So are we winning? Not exactly. All right, so we're still gonna 
we're going to go with Yondu, because what Yondu is going to do is he's going to remove the top deck of the opponent's card. You only have 12 cards, so if you're counting on like a big combo, uh, taking out one card can be completely ineffective. And so he's just going to take that away. Goodbye, Carnage. Uh, Carnage is actually cool. He eats all of the other stuff. So this is the last time I can play on here. So I'm going to go ahead and play Jubilee. So uh, play a card from your deck at this location. So I know that this is the only one that I'm worried about. Placement on is Hobgoblin, which your opponent gains control of this. So as soon as this one's flipped over, and we'll cover the other things when we get out of this match into the next one but this has been a lot of fun hello here is the snap cube so if you right now it's just one point so if we get to the end i think we'll gain or lose two points you can oh it was my turn <laughs> you can retreat if you want or you can Eh, Scorpion. So Scorpion afflicts all of the opponent's hand with one. Okay, so... We've got five. What are we looking at here? Okay, so I think I just want to do that. And get this dealt with. And see, now I've got a choice, because I don't know what they have. So they could have a more powerful card. This isn't going to do me any good, because all he does is double. But this will put a 7 power tiger to another location. So if I put this over here, it's going to put the 7 tiger over here, because I've got this one full. See, I got real lucky there. I still lost, but... And there is defeat. Okay, but so defeat... So see, I went down a level. But I still get chunks of things for Jubilee. So if I had the credits, I could upgrade her. Alright. So let's go look in the deck. So there are... Uh, on reveal, which is when the card flips over, there is uh, ongoing, which that is when... Uh, it's just going as long as the card is out there. There's no ability, which means it doesn't do anything. There's discard, which means when it's discarded, when you move an item, a card, and when you destroy a card. So, and then there are a handful that are just weird. Like, this is Sunspot. So at the end of the turn, gain plus one power for each unspent energy. Does it do much? Sometimes no, but sometimes yes. And those are the different card types. And I've got a mix of these in here. Okay, so see, we've got a good one, two going here. After turn four, destroy all cards that are controlled by the losing player here. Okay. We don't really mind if we lose Iceman. No offense to Iceman fans out there, but he's going to give a random card. Once again, the random is the theme of this deck. Uh, to your opponent's hand, plus one cost. And that's Nightcrawler. He can move once. So you can just move Nightcrawler wherever you want to go. When you play a card, uh, shuffle three rocks into your deck. Uh, rocks are one zeros. So they take one cost to use and they have zero attack power. There's Mr. Sinister. He clones himself, which is cool. I don't know that I have Mr. Sinister or not. This is the one that gets me in trouble because it can. Oh man. Okay, well, I don't have a really good play. Putting her over there is not going to do any good. I 
I had one game where I this came up and I just kept throwing Scorpion at it because I thought it was funny. And it was funny. Okay, so now we've got options. And I think we're going to put the White Queen and the Frost up there. Because she's going to draw a copy of the highest cost card in their hand. And just see how that goes. Yeah. Well, okay. Alright. Shang-Chi, kind of cool. He never does anything. I never get to use him, though. I've only had him used on me. But he destroys any card that's over 9. So he's kind of the your ace in the hole. If you're trying to... Uh, do good things. Alright, so I've got enough cards here that I don't really need to mess with stuff, but I don't have enough equaling five. I've got a pretty secure lead over here. This is going to be a problem. This is going to be a big problem because I don't know how to get people over there. Uh, aside from I have one card that may be able to help me. So I'm going to go ahead and, and bloop this. And I'm going to get three rocks in my deck, so I may end up drawing a rock next round, which will be oh so much fun. Okay, so... Man... Okay, this is pretty secure. There's not a lot. A Hulk could take me down there. So let's... Man, this is a mess. I can double that, increase that a little bit, but I think what I'm going to do, just because it's more fun, is I'm going to throw a morph here. And he turns into... <gasps> yeah, I'm going to throw a morph there, and then I'm going to throw them there. And they're going to give three other friendly cards plus two power. But should secure this from a from a Hulk, if he has a Hulk, if they have a Hulk. Why? <laughs> it still didn't get... <laughs> okay, so still ended up with zero to negative one that's funny but see once again i got i got shang chi used on me uh but okoye is cool she gives you every card in your deck plus one power but that is a super rare occurrence so this is there's this is my random deck uh the other one uh, that i have uh, a lot of fun with is unomas uh, which, if you speak Spanish, you know that stands for one more. And the the idea of this is just... There is one card that will completely destroy this deck. But uh, when you play a card, add a copy to another location. That's dangerous right there. But we want to at least get some cards out there. So we'll start it with Misty Knight and see what happens. Missing that doesn't do anything, so she's a pretty safe card to, to throw around different places. When you play a card here, destroy it. Okay. That's a... Uh... Okay. So here's, here's, so here's what we do. When you play a card here, destroy it. That means when you actually flip a card over. So what we're going to do is we're going to take Iron Fist, move the next card one location to the left after it reveals... We're going to put Iron Fist there. And then we're going to take Electra, which destroys one random, one cost enemy, which is what Nova is, and put him there. And we're going to end the turn. And then this will flip over, and then this will flip over, and they'll punt him over here.
Oh. And he just played armor. Armor's an ongoing, so it happens all the time, and you just, they just can't be destroyed. Uh, we are now in turn three. Okay, so I've got my four. As long as I keep Kazar, I should be fine, because all of these are one cost. Time's up. So this is turn four. So what I can do here is play this, and what this will do is this will give, this will duplicate this character, and all of these will get plus twos. Plus twos. Avengers! I don't know why he went there. Oh, because he thinks we're gonna tie. Victory. And now we win. So we get the points back that we lost last time. So now I'm level 32 again. And that's just how it goes. Uh, I have... What other ones do I have? Most of the rest of the decks are bad. Well, let's go with my nonsense deck. I don't remember what's in my nonsense desk. My nonsense deck, rather. Uh, this was just a fun... Uh, I put a bunch of car cards in here that I was having fun with. Put a card from each player's hand here. Okay, well, we kind of like that. Cards that are four, five, and six can't be played here. Plus one energy this turn. Okay, so on, energy, on turn one, two, three, I'm gonna get four so I can play that. So we're gonna go ahead and on turn five, I'm gonna automatically get a played card. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put him there. And that blinking red means that you're taking too long, which I often do. I also forget to hit the end turn button. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put Medusa in there. She, if she's in the middle location, gets plus two power. So she's a two two that turns into a two four. Uh, for any of you who have played Magic, a lot of this is gonna sound familiar. Okay, so I can play, oh. That's after turn five. And that would be going into turn six. I think I like that one. Uh, nope, Sabertooth. Does Sabertooth do anything? When this is destroyed, return it to your hand and cost zero. Okay. All right, so now we're actually on turn four. Cards that cost four and five can't be played here. Let's see, he doesn't have any. My Electra card is normally what I play, but I think I'm going to end up with a 50 50 shot here. And I don't know what these are. Nova. Okay. Yeah. So he basically just dominates that now, because I can't get enough cards in there to be worth it anyways. But on the upside, I think I can do something really fun here. Okay, so at the end of this turn, one of these cards is going to play. So if I... Is card angel one? No, he's a two. He's a two. Okay, so... Electra's still kind of pointless. But I think I want to put it there. And then I'm gonna put Sunspot there. I 
And then, nope, I'm gonna put another sentinel there. Oh, he's got Apocalypse. Apocalypse is big daddy. He's gonna... He's gonna cause me some problems later. Okay, so it grabbed the Sentinel. Not ideal, but... Yeah, so we're probably gonna lose... Let's see, nine. We could tie there. So he's probably going to go either here or here. Uh, oh, I can't play them there. That's right. Roll the dice then. Yeah, he's going to play Apocalypse there and he's going to win. My nonsense deck is is basically the catch-all for NC now I'm level 31 again. It's basically my catch-all for new cards. Can I sort by recent? Yeah, so I got Shang-Chi. Killmonger destroys all one-cost cards. That completely ruins uh, one of the decks I have. Uh, the Collector is an interesting card. I never get it to work right. When a card enters your hand from anywhere except your deck, plus one power. Uh, but that's, this is basically the game. So let's go ahead and play one more... One more random deck. I have been, honestly been playing this deck all day. Just because I I fell in love with the... the what if random? Because there's no... There's no control over any of this. So it's just, okay, I've, like, this isn't, it's gonna do a random card in the opponent's hand. I don't know which one. I don't know if it's gonna any good. It could be doing something dumb. But it doesn't matter, because it's gone now. Shuffle five rocks. I'm losing. But we're going to go ahead and wait it out anyways. Uh, you can look up here and see how many you have in your deck, how many you have in your hand. There are also these. Uh, and how many have been destroyed and how many have been discarded. Uh, you can mute the person if they're being annoying. How many they've destroyed, how many they've discarded, how many's in their hand. You know, it does normal stuff. Ooh, no, go away. Okay. Clocks of one, two, three can't be played there. You're a lot of help now. Oh, you can also just at any time go boom, retreat now. And it'll just give him the win. Escaped. And then I think you lose less. Yeah, you lose less. And you still get uh, bonus points. Come on, opponent, match found against Wallace. The other weird thing is going through here, a lot of these are names that I recognize. After each turn, cards here fight, destroy the weakest one. That's funny because it happens among your own cards too. Cards here can't be destroyed. Ongoing effects are disabled here. I read that as doubled once. and completely screwed myself. Um. You know what? I don't like that one. I'm going to change it. At the start of turn six, swap hands. That's not much better.
Ugh, and see, I don't have a card. That's the downside of this deck is that it's it's very it's very RNG heavy. So uh, if there's just a little bit too much random in the sauce, uh, it's gonna create a bunch of chaos. Yeah, and it's just going to keep destroying that. Oh, he's going to give that to me, though. Okay, well, I don't want him to have this. No! Yep, ah, see, I lost. Or maybe not, because I can do that, and that'll get me there, and then those will cover that. So there you go. There's a, a brief look at Marvel Snap. And let's see how long we got. Eight minutes. So yeah, they'll re they replenish at 10 o'clock my time. But yeah, it's a pretty cool game. I, I like it even though I'm not great at it you can you unlock different avatars and whatnot you can set your title and it tracks progress in here of this is how many your collection level is i didn't mention that so cards sorry one more and then we'll go uh so nope so cards start out really boring and i don't think there's a way to show it So Vulture. So we start out, it's a base card. He is inside the frame, or actually he's not. Crap. Yeah, he is, but his name's not. So he stay, they start off inside the frame, and then they do what's called a frame break, which means the character comes out of this, the thing here. And then they either do... Uh, See, this is what's bad. I don't even remember which ones. They get, like, animated. So part of the cape is animated. Or they're 3D. Uh, they get shinier, shiny names. Is that the one? Nope. But yeah, so it, it changes a lot. But uh, there you go. Thank you very much for uh, joining me. Uh, if there are a bunch of cards that are not in the game. Who do you think needs to be in this game? The people that I noticed that are obviously missing is there's I don't have Ghost Rider yet, and he's my he's probably the he hit popularity at the same time that I was really getting into comics. Uh, I also don't have either of the Captain uh, Marvels, Captain Marvel or Captain Marvel, uh, and I wonder if they can go into the new universe and get people like Justice and the Pit and uh, anyways. Uh, but yeah, uh, if, if there's somebody that you want to see in here and that you don't see, who is it? Because I'm curious. 
Uh, thank you very much for watching, and as always, play on.